Ladies and gentlemen, good evening, or good morning if it's morning for you. Good evening from Dallas, Texas. I'm George Baker. And today or tonight, we're going to have my micro lesson two as promised or perhaps threatened as a sort of promotion for my new organ improvisation workbook. I'll give a link to that uh, workbook so you can purchase it if you are so moved by the end of this little video. There are no edits to this video. It's one take like Desi and Lucy did in I Love Lucy, so we'll see what happens. But the topic of tonight's little tiny micro lesson is the Phrygian mode, or the, uh, the, the third church mode, the mode in E if you will. Jean Langlais, with whom I studied for two years in Paris, said that for him, the Phrygian mode was the mode that was le plus riche, or the richest mode. Now, why would he say that, do you suppose? Well, I think because of the flat second degree of, of the mode. If if, the, if you're playing it on E, then you would have F natural, not F sharp, F natural. And it was that flat second degree, as well as the flat seventh degree, that gave this mode its colors and made it le plus riche, at least for Longley. And it, it's certainly beautiful. Now, I want to demonstrate uh, because we are in the 200th anniversary celebration year of César Franck, who was born in Belgium in 1822, I want to bring in the Phrygian mode and incorporate César Franck. Believe it or not, I will show you that in the third chorale, there is a Phrygian cadence. Believe it or not, it was a modal cadence, not a tonal cadence, foreshadowing, I think, his student, Charles Tournemire, foreshadowing all that Tournemire did in, in his work at San Clotilde in, in modality and, and plain chant, and the magic that he created, that Durofle heard, that Longley heard, that Messiaen heard, and so many others that inspired their careers. So. Right now, let me play just, just a few little chords in the mode of E, and we'll only use the white keys. Keep it very simple. We don't need complicated. From, from those notes, you can make chords. You can you can you can do that or first inversion or you can you can do you can do second inversion and and other chords you you can uh, you can do that. have lots and lots of different chords. But here's here's the real kicker for me. Listen to this. Does any does this sound familiar to you guys? Sound familiar? Of course it does. That's Franck's third chorale. Let's put it in in uh, in A. So, he didn't use the leading tone G sharp. He could have done that, but he didn't. He did. And, and so forth. So, Phrygian cadences there in the in the third chorale, and that gives that third chorale 
such, such a great deal of power, in my opinion. It, it's not the usual, like you might hear in a Guillemot piece, but it's, it's modal. It's the magic of the mode. So one can... Uh, We can do a tutti, or we can, or we can, We can, we can, just with those few little notes, we can, we can make a little melody in the right hand, keeping, keeping even a pedal point here in, in the left hand or the right hand. I think that's beautiful. But it's so simple and it's so easy to do. So guys, check it out. The Phrygian mode. Ladies and gentlemen, as Steve Jobs said, ah, there's just one more thing. Hey, look who's here. Mm -hmm. My brilliant colleague and good friend, David Briggs, who's in town to play a concert tomorrow night at Church of the Incarnation. Here's David. Hey. Hi, Joel. Hey, David. Hey, Fantastic brother. Fantastic to see you. Yeah. David Hi. and I, have a seat. Wow. Have a seat. Fantastic. David and I have so much in common. Number one, we're both students of Jean Anglais and of the Saint Clotilde tradition, the Saint Clotilde school. As you guys know, or might know, Longley was a student of three Franck students, Alof Malti, Albert Mao, and Charles Tournemire. And they heard, all of them heard Franck play. So we're sort of great uh, grandchildren of Cesar Franck in mm -hmm. a way. So we share that, and we also share a deep veneration and a deep love for Pierre Cochereau and his incredible art of music making and improvisation. And then King's College, Cambridge. David was for three years, I believe, mm -hmm. in, in Cambridge, uh, uh, the, the organ scholar under Stephen Cleobury. What? Uh, and Stephen, Sir Stephen Cleobury, uh, the late, tragically, Sir Stephen Cleobury was a very, very dear friend of mine and we miss him so terribly. So, David, uh, why, don't, why don't you talk for, for a minute or so about, about the Phrygian mode, if, if you want. Fantastic. Well, you move? <clears throat> George, what I really wanted to say is um, this fantastic work you've done with your new book. And uh, I think that everybody who's interested in organ improvisation should absolutely buy this fantastic new book. Um, I've certainly got my copy and have learned a huge amount from it. It must have taken you years to put together. Well, <laughs> it, it is, is really the work of a lifetime. Uh, I have put my heart and, and blood, sweat and tears, I think literally, in, into this thing. Uh, it's something that I wanted to do ever since I went to France. I wanted to basically share what I learned at Saint Clotilde and at Notre Dame, and mm. and and, uh, and and put it in relatively simple terms that that are not off-putting, but but as if you know we were talking like we are now to 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 the student, and and so hopefully it it it, it has some value. Uh, but certainly, it, I, I put my life into it. It's, it's my life. You're holding, you're, 
you're giving out golden nuggets. Well, I think. thank so, you, thank no, you. No, absolutely. I'm, I'm I mean, so, it's so uh, so humbled it's and honored for you to say that. Not at all. I mean, it's the the, the truth. It's what, what you say makes so much harmonic sense, and um, I think it's the great thing about it is that it's possible to just use it immediately. It's really the way you've yeah. structured it is is so helpful <clears throat> for people who who think they can't improvise yeah. Yeah. at all. Um, you know, to kind of get over that threshold, yeah. and also really good for people who who are quite uh, have a lot of experience. So, oh, so thank I, you. I just wanted to thank you for well, this thank you. amazing thank work you. you've done. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. uh, it it feels like it's full of baby steps, but I think we need baby steps to to learn to walk and then to run and, and then to fly, mm -hmm. like like Pierre. Mm -hmm. you know, Pierre was was in a whole other. Uh, stratosphere of, of of the universe as far as improvising and and he was you know he's uh, improvising now for 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 the angels and for you know for the Lord God and for Jesus I, I know they're loving what they hear mm hmm absolutely right yes he was he was really a one-off wasn't he yeah incredible mm -hmm. unbelievable mm -hmm. Well, thank you, my friend. For, my pleasure for, for coming for dinner. My pleasure. <laughs> and, this is, and this is uh, we, uh, this is going to be a real. Um, my goodness, George, as you probably noticed, has lost a huge amount of weight. But yeah, uh, twenty three pounds in in five months, I think. It's amazing. You must like uh, let me know the secret because uh, I I, I want to I don't want to be like. Um, you know, you, I, I have to keep up with you, I think, on this. It's, it's absolutely... It's, but maybe tonight we'll have a, like, a... Tonight a, a is a cheat meal. I, I guarantee you it is a cheat meal. We'll have, we'll have an evening off tonight. Yeah, I think. great. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, my Thank friend. You. Oh, great to see you, Cheryl as always. Thanks. As always. Okay.